How you doing YouTube? Simon here, Ascent 41. Um, today I'm going to do a wild camp, just a one-nighter up on top of Caradoc, which is Church Stretton. Um, it's not far from where I usually stay out on the Long Mind. Um, and the sole reason I've come out tonight is because the weather's forecast quite bad. Um, heavy rain and strong winds, and the winds have been advertised at 60 mile an hour. So I've just come out just for that reason, you know, no other reason. Uh, and it's it's raining a bit now. It's it's not you know nothing special. So I'm I've got a bit of a a, a walk over there. I think it's about a mile a mile walk in to my pitch. Um, and the pack got the pack here. It weighs 39 pound. That's with um, three liters of water. So it's not too bad. And the, the new sim mat definitely makes a difference in the pack. I've got loads of room now. I don't know what to do with it. Um, so that's a view out the window. And I'm going up there in that direction. So we'll get waterproofed and um, see how it goes. Probably won't be much audio on the way there until I get the, the Acto up because obviously I don't want to get the camera wet. I'm um, talking about the camera, I'm filming in 4K. If you don't know what 4K is, if you've been living in a cave for the last six months, 4K is the next next step up from 1080. Um, but I'm recording in 4K, but I don't know if I'll be able to, to edit it. So the end result is a 4K video file um, because I'm using Photoshop CS6. I'm not sure if the output has got 4K on it, so we'll have to have a look. But interesting to see what it will look like on, on my monitor and how long my PC takes to edit the 4K file. So uh, we'll have a go and plus who's got a 4K TV? Well, I haven't, not yet anyway. I'm, I'm, I've got my fingers crossed for Christmas. Um, but anyway, enough waffling and uh, we'll get what proofed up and I'll see you uh, on the trial. See you in a bit. see much because recording on 4k you only get wide uh, the wide lens on it so getting shots at the distance is going to be impossible hopefully you can hear me and there she is top of Caradoc, just there, the view. in the distance there is Church Stretton and you probably won't be able to see but there's a, a road snaking up to the top that's the Burway and that's the road that I usually take and then over in the distance is where I usually pitch up so you can see I'm on the other side of the town today so it's quite steep down and then up to the top
really windy. Shall we have a go? Let's have a go. What have we got to lose? So we're inside the Acto now, and um, it's all right. It's holding up really well, the tent. I'm really glad I brought the Delta pegs because the ground up here is is quite rocky on top of the uh, on top of here. And they're sticking in really well and holding the guy lines really well. I've used the metal acto pegs for the four corners. And for the guys, I've used the delta pegs. And it's sound. I think it's going to be a, a restless night tonight. This is what it's all about. This is why I wanted to come up here. So I'm, uh, I'm happy. I wonder if it'll get any worse. I'd be interested to know the um, the wind speed, but I haven't got a a meter to measure it. So it'd be interesting to see. I'll look up on the internet when I get back at one of the local weather stations to see what the wind speed is. But I presume the wind speed's going to be be faster up here on top of the hill. But. Uh, I'll have a look when I get back. Anyway, I'll try and get a brew on the go. I don't know I'm going to do that. And um, I might open the bottom vent tonight because the condensation builds up quite a lot, especially when you're cooking inside the tent. It gets quite wet. So I'll open the bottom vent later when I have a walk around. <laughs> to make sure it's all alright and the guys are still holding <laughs> yeah. so just got a brew on the go or a hot chocolate and um, just want to show you a few things that I got today um, Eddie Scott's Wild Camper. Went out and bought one of these. I saw it in your videos a few times and also in um, Andy's, Andy Wardle on both your channels. So I thought I'd go out and invest in one. And it's alright. First time I used it today, but I think what we're going to have to be aware of is the legs cutting into the ground sheet, into the footprint. So I have to make sure there's not a lot of weight on there. But also, try these meals. Got them from the um, pound shop. So I've got two of these. Where's the other one? Two of them for dinner. And uh, I'll get back to you as, as to what they taste like. So it's beef meatballs in tomato and herb sauce I think there's only about four meatballs in there ready in two minutes so um, I'll drink my hot chocolate that's in there and then we'll get them on the go because six o'clock now I'm getting a bit hungry
that meal that I had earlier from the pound shop was really nice. It was quite tasty. I only had the one because um, that was enough. But yeah, I'd, uh, I'd buy them again. But I think I'd have to have something with it, maybe a, a rice or something to bulk it out a bit. Uh, you could see the uh, the effect the wind had on the tent out there. It's obviously pounding on my head in here. But I'm alright. I'm confident the tent's going to stay up. I'm a bit concerned. Well, I'm not concerned, but I've heard of uh, poles snapping before. So I just hope that doesn't happen tonight. Because <coughs> if it snaps, I presume it'll put into the material. And then I'll be getting wet. I'll have to pack up and walk home in the dark. So let's hope the pole doesn't snap. I know Eddie was on about getting a, a 10 millimeter pole for his Acto, uh, Scott's Wild Camper. So I, I don't know if I'll do that. I think they're about 40 quid. Um, because I'm only up here tonight, just, just you know, see what it's like. See if I can. Battle out the elements. After so far, we're being all right. Um, so I don't know if I'll buy the bigger pole, but you know, fair play to you, Eddie. Go for it. But anyway, I think I'm going to get into my sleeping bag. I put the radio, mind you, I put the radio on earlier, and I couldn't hear the radio. So I get into my sleeping bag and get a wall, and then see what the night brings. Morning. Well, we made it through the night. Um, the winds died down quite considerably after about midnight. Still a little bit, but not like it was. And the pole held together, I think. And I'll have a look outside in a minute. I'm still in my pit. The sim mat, the new mat that I got, the um, sim mat UL7, worked great. Um, I was a bit concerned about on how thin it was, but it's fine. So, um, yeah. Condensation, I slept last night with this open and the vent undone. And it's a bit wet there, but all this in here is dry. So, oh, and both vents were closed. So the head end vent and the, the foot end vents were both closed. So the only vent was was the, the door that was open. So I'm chuffed with that because last time I was soaked when I got up. So I think that's the way forward is to have this side door um, open. What else? I think that's about it. Um, I've had a look outside and you can't see much. It's just low cloud cover at the minute. It's ten past ten past seven, and it's just yeah, you can't see much. Until we drop, until we drop down off the hill. Um, yeah, being cloud. So yeah, I'm really chuffed with the way the tents performed with the sim mat, the way that's performed um, and the condensation so it's been a been a good decision to come out last night oh, I just wanted to add one more thing is the zip mod that I've done on the zips has worked great you can hear it slightly these bigger zips can hear it slightly but not as much as what it was before it was like a flipping wind chime so I'm also chuffed with that as well um, it's cleared up a little bit you can see in the distance civilization so um, yeah that's another modification that I'm happy with fab Breakfast in bed. <laughs> it's 
to wait for the water to boil and we've got a coffee. And that's my view. Expose the camera. I'm going to sort all this mess out later. <laughs> That'll be fun. So yeah, right. Let's have a quick waffle. I'm planning um, to fan Snowdonia in, well, this month, a few weeks away. Um, go straight from work on the Sunday. I've contacted the campsite, which is right next to Trafan. Um, I spoke to Jed and he's given me all the heads up at the campsite and um, pointing me in the right direction of some of his, his videos that he's done of him and George and a few others climbing to fan. So thanks for that, Jed. So we'll just have a go. I mean, I've heard, I've read quite a lot about it, but it's just a case of, you know, I've done all the prepping I can, just a case of going. I'm going to be car camping, so I'm taking my Tranja 27, I'm taking my bigger tent because um, I haven't got to cramp it, you know what I mean? I haven't got to carry everything everywhere. I'm taking a little backpack to take up the hill with me. Um, I'm a bit excited about that. Um, but obviously there's a bit of an intrepidation as well because it's a, a scramble more than anything else. So, yeah, I look forward to them videos coming out. <gasps> he says, now nah, it'd be good. It'd be good, it's a challenge, and that's what we want, isn't it? Challenge, we want to be challenged. But yeah, anyway. Wait for that to boil, get a coffee, and then we'll get grooving, I suppose. Leave no trace! I suffered a bit then walking back because I'd had no breakfast. Um, so my muscles had nothing to work with. So that was my own fault really, just being lazy. But uh, we're back at the car now. Um, thinking ahead now, you know, remembering that I'm recording this in 4K. Thinking ahead of how I'm gonna process it and output it and. I want to see, you know, I want to find something that's got a 4K TV so I can watch it. What I might do is go into a TV showroom and put it on a USB and say, can I watch this on your 4K TV? Be a bit cheeky. Um, if I do, I'll try and take the GoPro with me and record it. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a good trip. Um, look forward to Trafan and I'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye. How you doing, YouTube? Simon here, aka Simon. <laughs> 